The family of a young woman who was badly injured in a crash that killed her friend is hoping for help. A GoFundMe page raising more than $25,000 for the family of Caden Belisle. The Cattaraugus County Sheriff's Office says a drunk driver struck his vehicle in Portville last month. Gabby Cranick's family says the crash left her paralyzed below the shoulders. Jocelyn Person spoke with her family about the long road to recovery. It's a long road for her, but it's, there a lot go through my mind, you know, it's. A pause filled with sadness when this father is confronted with the new reality facing his young daughter. One month ago, Gabby Cranick was left paralyzed in a deadly chain reaction crash when a suspected drunk driver slammed into her friend's porch in Portville. There's no definite because her spinal cord thankfully was not severed completely. Gabby, according to her father, should be in school enjoying her senior year, not lying in a hospital bed in ECMC. Because she can't play this year or senior year, you know, it's really tough for her. But. but Gabby has another team on her side. People from across the country are sending their support, sending her positive vibes through a card campaign. Quite a few of them, really, from the Bills Mafia, you know, it's been great. It's just all over Tampa, Florida, California, you know, it's been crazy at some of the return addresses we've seen. It's like, wow. And Gabby's father tells me despite the hardships, he has faith that his daughter will persevere. You're a trooper and you can get through it. And you definitely have all the support you need to get through it. And I love her with all my heart. Jocelyn Person, 7 News.